I don't know if you ought to put that fire out or not. My wood may be wet. <laughs> oh, it's such an honor to be here. Good luck, bunch of people. These ladies are very beautiful. You men, I've never seen a pretty man. Like the Lord. Uh, how many know his brother Frank Hicks? How many of you have known him for many years? Many years. Many years. Did you know that he was in law enforcement before he became a minister? Uh, he was investigating a, a, a break in, a robbery, and uh, an informant told him that it might be on this certain farm. Frank went to investigate. Old farmer. Uh, well, they're all his life. They'd interviewed that old farmer. He said, have you lived here all your life? And he said, not yet. <laughs> That's how the man the farmer was. And Frank told him what he was there for. He said, we need to check your farm for stolen goods. Well, he said, well, of course, go right ahead. But said, if I was you, I wouldn't go in that back pasture. Frank Young. Yeah. Proud of that back. He said, Mr. This Badge right here said, I can go anywhere, anytime, and look, any place. Well, the farmer said, I didn't mean to insult He said, go ahead. Frank strutted off like a big gobbler turkey in full strut. Little boy heard old Frank is screaming, God help, help me, somebody help me. That old farmer angled on out through our real slow, big black Angus bull. That old Frank backed up against him water and trough just working on him real good. Frank hollered, help, help. The little farmer said, show him me back, show him me back. <laughs> That's all for it. It's good to be here. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing down here. Bless you, Lord. I trust, I thank the world of you, Pastor. Uh, I know some of you, I love you, so it's wonderful to know this Evans family. And Brother Jake called me. I think I'm in the right place, Frank. I know you are. Uh, got a, a church up on the mountains I love dearly. Uh, as I said last night, I very seldom leave on Sunday at all. But I believe that I, I don't know what's going on. I don't need... This all may be for me, I don't know, or that preacher that had quit preaching and got started, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. People came to Alder last night. But I'll tell you this, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to let you out at 3 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Is God not enough? Yeah. Come on, man. If you was to gain the whole world and lose your soul, what would you give in exchange? Yeah. I'm just a young boy in the ministry. But the longer I'm in it, the more fearful I become. Yes. I've shed off a lot of religious propaganda that I've had down through the years. Okay. Mm. But the holiness of God, mm. the severity yeah. of God, yes. the working of the Holy Spirit, it can be uh, counterfeiting. Yeah, that's right. And we can be deceived. That's right. That's right. I want you to be deceived. No. And I know you have a great preacher, a great teaching preacher. Mm He's -hmm. going through the Bible. Mm -hmm. And you've heard enough of gospel to save the world. Mm, right. Yes. Maybe just a different colored bucket this morning might hit. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's the same message. Yeah. There's no new message. No. And I don't know why we're looking for something new That's right. all the time. That's right. He's new every day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he just, he just comes every day and just blesses you brand new over and over again. Yes. It's like this second anointing and all this different religious stuff. And they, well, I say, and then I got. They said, you believe the second anointing? I said, I sure do. The third, the fourth, the fifth. Right. I need anointing yeah. every day. Yeah. But if you're born again, you receive the Holy Spirit yeah, right. when you believe. Yeah. It's a package deal. Right. Right. In 2 Samuel, uh, we'll read the 
a little bit to you. If I can find it, I believe it's an Old Testament. Ain't it, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> About a third of the way over. About a third of the way over in Old Testament. <laughs> chapter 18. While you're turning our Second Samuel chapter 18. We all know about King David. We all know about the... Who can tell me something about King David? Somebody real quick. What do you know about King David? What else? Murderer. Bathsheba. Murderer. Yeah. Started off small. Just started by look. And because he was a man after God's own heart. Hey, I think you're the best people in the world. You're gathered here this morning. I didn't take me long to stay all night at my house last night. This got there and touch down and turn around and come back. Same like. But I noticed, and like I said last time, a people watcher, and I noticed I was meeting a lot of people going to the mountains. I got down to Teleco and the stores were flooded. Uh, Hardy's was back to back. Yeah. Today is a day that's been set aside for worship. We call it Sunday, the first day of the week. Yeah, come on. But in America, we've turned it into fun day. That's right. that's right. And if we're not real careful, we'll try to turn our churches into fun instead of worship. That's right, brother. Preach. There's one gospel, one message, yeah. and that message is you must be born again. Amen. And because of David's sin. You are an individual, and you've got a choice. But if I make liquor, my son will make liquor. Yes, yes. And my grandson will make liquor. Mm -hmm. And it will be a generational thing. Yeah, yeah. I listened to Little Eva sing, and uh, the first thought, the first picture that I had was Buster Evans. That's, yeah, that's right. Had Buster not got saved, had Buster not quit his alcohol, yeah. had Buster not met the Lord Jesus Christ, Probably these children wouldn't be singing today. That's it. Brother, we're debtors. Yeah. And we, we, we have this glorious gospel in earthen vessels. Yeah. That the glory and ecstasy may be of God. Yeah. But David sinned and God forgive him. But he said the sword will never leave you. Don't. Right. Children, I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. It's a horrible thing to be deceived. Yeah. To think that you're saved and, and be in church in the worst place in the world to go to hell. Uh, it would be from Bethlehem Baptist Church yeah. or Cedar Cliff Baptist Church or, yeah, right. or all of these good churches throughout America sit there and be deceived and not really comprehend it, right. how the simplicity of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right, huh? But absolutely, listen, the Bible said in Corinthians that you are the temple of God. Uh, yeah. John and all of my grace, we said, you know where you're going to preach? I said, somewhere between Genesis and Revelation. Yeah, yeah. It's got so important, Frank, that I, God wants us to study. Yeah. A man who studies not worth his bread. Yeah. But we, we need to be real careful about our study. We need to study for ourselves. Yeah. And if we're called of God, to follow the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the leadership of the Holy Spirit. That's right. I feel so inadequate here this morning to stand Bless behind you. this great man, Frank Hicks, Bless to share his pulpit. I feel so ill. But you know what? If God's in it, yeah. it's the same if, if the Lord Jesus Christ yeah. said it to you. Amen. 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 Listen, it's not about the bucket. That's it's right. about what's in the bucket. Yeah, That's right. <laughs> and Absalom was the son of David. And he revolted against his own father. And his own king. If you're saved this morning. Now this is for everybody hundred under. Young people, hundred under. If you're here and you're a hundred year old, got a note from your mom. Like you don't have to listen. Yeah. But we we're all youngins. Yeah. We're all children. That's right. My little children. I write unto you that you sin not. Yeah. Oh, we never get old or mature enough to do this thing on our own. No, no, right. 
But Absalom wanted power. Yeah, that's right. He wanted prestige. Yeah. He wanted honor. Yes. Yeah. And the only way to get that is to get rid of the king. Yeah, that's right. That's right. There's a there's a throne in your soul. That's right, that's right. You or Jesus, one or the other, is on that throne. That's right. That's right. Absalom wanted to overthrow David. He desecrated David's wives, and David went up Mount Olives weeping barefoot as he went up. And Absalom was trying to kill him. That's right. mm -hmm. One mistake that Absalom had, he had a mule instead of a horse. Yeah. And Absalom's glory was his high. Yeah, yeah. And when he cut it, it weighed like, I believe if I read correctly, about four pounds. When he cut it, I, well, I wish I had some of that. <laughs> I wish he hadn't have thrown that away. Yeah. Yeah. We could have sold it. Yeah. What we didn't use. Yeah. But he was a he was doing it in the wrong face. That's right. Uh, yeah. God is a spirit and they that worship him must yeah. worship him how? In spirit yeah. and in truth. That's it. Does anybody in here old enough and would admit it? Do any of you guys remember Credence Clearwater Revival? Look out. Yeah, yeah. Mad Moon Rider. That's right, that's right. Riding through the jungle. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh, you can go to them dance hall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 69 Chevelles. Yeah. yeah. Drag racing. Yeah. It was a time of rebellion. That's right. Yeah. That's right. it. You get in them dance halls. Listen to me, young people. You get in those dance halls. Yes. Maybe an older lady than you. Uh, I'm remembering one group that we met from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, they were so pretty. Yeah. Here's no country boy. Yeah. Purple bell bottoms, purple silk shirt. Yeah. And then I had hired. Yeah. Riding that motorcycle, oh my, oh my, oh, you get those nice halls, and you get out with your friends, yeah, and you get a hold of a spirit, uh -oh. yeah. it was a, you get a hold of a spirit, it was a pleasing to the flesh, that's it, yeah. cold chills would run up your spine, yeah. come on, and they was, oh, I believe it's Clarence Carter or some old. Uh, guy, they was a song back when I was a boy. Let's just slip away. Mm -hmm. yep. Slip away to somewhere yep. where we're both are not known. Yep. Sin and in darkness. Mm -hmm. Oh, brethren, there's all kinds of spirits, but the Bible yep. says try the spirits, see yep. whether they be of God or not. If you've got God in your heart, you've got holiness in your life. Yes, yes. It's not a figment of the imagination. It's not cool. It's not, I don't know what the modern day word is. It's not hell, children. Yeah. God is holy God. Yeah. And you need to approach him with reverence yeah. and godly fear. That's right. Amen. Amen. And Absalom worked out his political agenda. Yeah. He thought he had his daddy. He was, I would never harm my daddy. The beginning of sin starts out real ill. That's right. That's right. But the lust of the flesh is unquenchable. Yes. Right. You'll never get a motorcycle fast enough. No, no. We was going home last night, right on Churl Halo, right past the Hooper Ball Trailhead. Yeah. This immaculate car was, he hit a curve too fast. And I mean, it was, it looked like a very expensive car. It was, it was made for speed. Mm -hmm. And he rolled that thing down in the middle of the hard top. We stopped and said, are you all right? He said, we're fine. He had enough of sense to have roll bars in it. But Absalom, in his effort to get the king off the throne, lost his life. Yeah, yeah. And they brought the news to David. Yeah, that's right. David had power to pronounce death upon that son. Right. He said, don't you hurt my boy. Mm. David loved old Absalom. Yeah. 
God loves you even in your rebellion. I did. Come on. God's love Preach. is unmerited. Yes. God's long suffering, not willing that any should perish. But I want to tell you the truth this morning, according to Joshua chapter 24, if God will give you space to repent, if you are a child of the king, God will give you space to repent. But there's an enemy out there known as the devil. He's seeking whom he may devour, and he will kill you. That's right. God will turn you over that your flesh might be destroyed, that your soul be saved. Children, you're on holy ground. That's right. Listen to what David said. And King said, verse 29, is the young man Absalom safe? Mm. And Amahaz answered when Joab sent the king's servant and me and thy servant, I saw a great tumult, but I knew no way what. This guy knew he was dead, yeah. but he wanted to try to get around the truth. Listen, yeah. children, yeah. the truth is you're going to die. That's right. It don't matter how you say it. And, and please don't. I, I had a funeral yesterday and I've got one today. It, it's hard to change gear real fast. Yeah. But I'm either in a hospital or at a wedding. And I noticed your uh, prior uh, bulletin. It's the same as Cedar Cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's cancer everywhere you go. Yeah. There's sickness. There's death. Yeah. And it's coming not to a theater near you, but it's coming to your house. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to meet God is the supreme uh, question. That's it. What then shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? Yeah. And I want to expound to you just for a few minutes. I promise it won't be long. Yeah. Are you safe this morning? Yeah. Well, There's a man that uh, is a, he's a good friend. I hope I've been a friend to him. He's... Probably 80 year old uh, lives in Graham County. He's never been saved. He knows about God. He knows he needs to be saved. Yeah. But he's never accepted Christ as his Savior. God bless you. And he had a cabin out on West Buffalo on Santilla Lake. And I hadn't seen him in a while. And I went into my office, our crown, the big white chicken. That's my office. My church so far back in the woods, they no way to tell anybody how to get there. I just tell them, I say, go to Robinsville to the big white rooster, and I'll pick you up. <laughs> That's my office. They call me the stray preacher. You know about stray dogs? They said, don't, don't throw the chicken away. That old stray preacher will bring through here when revival's over. They saved me the leftovers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I just get a scrap from God's table, yeah. that's good. I don't deserve that. Yeah. I deserve to be in hell this yeah, morning. Yeah. But I saw the old gentleman and I said, I've not seen you at your cabin lately. Well, he said, I sold him. He said, I got to thinking at my age and my health that's the shape that it's in that if something happened to me, I'd be too far out. Mm. God turned my heart over. How far are you from God uh, this morning? Uh, are you too far out? Uh, come on. If you're not walking hand in hand with God, you're not safe this morning. That's right. If you're out of the will of God, you're not safe. There's a city of refuge yeah. that God set up in the Old Testament. Yeah. And if you can get to that city of yeah. refuge, though you were guilty, you'd be safe. Brother, listen. Come on. We are guilty. He was saved far into his tribe, but we are safe if we've been saved, even though we are guilty. <laughs> you're not safe this morning if you're running with the wrong crowd. That's right. You're not safe this morning if you're coming to church because the church can do something for you. Right. You're not in the will of God lest you come willing to give yourself to the worship of this service yeah. today. Amen. That's right. You're not safe if you only come to be an onlooker. That's right. I we're trying to build a fellowship hall. If you want to get mad, start a building project. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Come on. Hey, a lot of times a bunch of drunks can get along better than us <laughs> church members. <laughs> Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm a feeling good. Yeah. I didn't come to pour that shit. But I come to be a blessing to you. 
Our youth are dying by the thousands. That's right. Our churches are dying. And it's so simple that if mom and dad would simply bring their children to Sunday school. The young man testified last night about his grandparent. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you this yeah. morning. And I saw the grandparent, I believe it was the grandparent, one of pray with. And I saw the granddaddy stand up and big tears running down his face. And he said, thank God for my grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. Why? That granddaddy give that boy something this world couldn't give him. Right. They gave him a city of refuge. Hey, they gave yeah. him a safe place. Yeah. You're not safe unless you're in fellowship with the Lord Amen. Jesus. Right. Right. Well, and I'm saying to you this, and I sound like a broke record, but going to church don't make you a Christian. No. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Sure. God's glad you're here. Yeah. yeah. I go to barn every day. I'm trying to kill a rat. <laughs> he got into my barn. Mm -hmm. There's something about a deer match, the wiring system in a deer match. They say the coating was made out of some kind of soybean derivative. And rats love it. Mm -hmm. I've probably spent $3,000 on that one more rat. <laughs> he won't eat. He won't eat the bait I put out. I can't catch him in the trap. And I told him, I said, if I ever catch him, I'm going to cook him, and I'm going to eat him real slow. <laughs> you might have a rat mm. in your life. Mm. Come on. He's a little creature. Yes. But he will destroy. He'll cost you more than you can afford. Right. That's right. That's right. Oh. Right. The wages of sin, just a little leaven, leaven of the whole lot. That's right. Well, now, preacher, we've got to do this to get our youth to come. You have to get a bigger rabbit every Sunday. That's right. <laughs> if you get them saved, yeah. and they can let Jesus on the throne, yeah, yeah. you can't run them off. Amen. You can't compete with the world, Amen. children. We don't stay open. No. But the beer joints are open while us preachers are sleeping. Yeah. The devil's got time for you. It's your choice. Yeah, that's it. Right. Easy. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Right. I wish I could say that. I, I'm a trying. But it's hard. To, it's hard to get on to your grandchildren. Yeah. You want them to enjoy life. But under God, some of my youngins got something more to go every weekend. Yeah. Nice. He's cunning. He's he's a fox. That's right. right. They're not doing nothing bad. What the world would call bad. Yeah. Yeah. They're Christians. I believe they're saved. Yes. But it's getting so easy to miss church. That's it. Right. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Have you ever been to a place where it broke your heart to miss church? Mm, yeah. When it breaks your heart to miss church, you're in a safe song. <laughs> yeah. But when you're looking for excuses. Uh -oh. yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. We're trying to build a fellowship hall. <coughs> Confusion. Mm -hmm. We put on the, we, we have this rotor, uh, some company does for it. Everybody gets the same prior request. Automated stuff. We put on them. First thing that was going to meet at the architect building, and they all the women, please come. Anybody that's interested, please come. They about five of them showed up. <laughs> and the rumor started. They. <laughs> they. <laughs> They won't tell us how much it's going to cost. <laughs> they. I have never figured out who they are <laughs> at City Cliff Baptist Church. You got any of them they's here? <laughs> they. We've got a financial report hanging on the bulletin board uh -oh. for the whole world. See, every dime we take in, every dime we spend everything. Right there it is. Every, well, I don't know how many missionaries. They're not interested in that first big book like our every newsletter, every missionary, everything. But they, those people rather grumble yeah. 
That makes them look religious. That makes them look like they're concerned yeah, about the church. Yeah. No, that makes, in the eyes of God, they're sitting in the seat of the scornful. That's right. That's it. You're not safe if you're in the seat of the scornful. That's right, brother. That's it. You're standing in the way of sin. That's right. Preach. Uh, I'm about done. Joshua 24. Bible said this. He said, I've blessed you. I've led you out of the wilderness. I give you the promised land. I've been good to you. And if I can paraphrase, he said, I'll do you a world of hurt if you reject me. The chest in the hand of God. Now let me hurry and close. Rahab was a harlot. Living in the city and a man of God coming. Rahab was safer than Absalom was. Yeah. Yeah. Rahab was a harlot, but she was in safety more than the king's son. There it is. Right. Right. Absalom's riding that new. Got that beautiful hire caught in the fork of a tree. Yeah. And he hung him there, and they come through and pierced his heart yeah. with darts. Yeah. Right. They disobeyed the king's order. Mm -hmm. They loved the king. They said that Absalom is the king's enemy. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm a child of the king. Come on. Frank Hicks, I've been his enemy so many times. Oh, I understand. For a long time I've done it ignorantly. Because yeah. Yeah. I was just a good little Baptist. Yeah, bless you. Yeah. The Bible, oh, I, the Holy Spirit was in my life. Sure. But I kept it smothered out. Mm -hmm. yeah. He never left me. If you do wrong, it don't bother you. You are lost. Mm -hmm. Simple, simple right. little message. Right. Right. But Rahab had heard about God and God's people. That's right. She said, we heard about you. Yeah. She said, we met up just like wax. Yeah. I said, I know. Yeah. I know God's going to take this city. Yeah. And I know that we keep standing against this yeah. holy God. Right. She said, I want a promise. Yeah. I want a token. I want, I want something in my life to yeah. spare me. I want to be saved yeah. when the judgment of God falls. Yeah. Yeah. said, will you go into covenant with me? Yeah. Yeah. Will you give me a token? Mm -hmm. God's got a token for you. That's right. Corinthians calls it the earnest of the spirit. It will scrap a token of pledge. Given before him. That's right. Now I love to embarrass young people, especially them evidences. <laughs> and them in law. Brooke, you know the difference between the in law and outlaw? <laughs> yeah, but that, the definition. <laughs> Outlaws are wanted. <laughs> in law, that's all I will say about that line. <laughs> you can tell that law. Jacqueline likes it. <laughs> Let me hear it. I promise we'll be done about three or four more. Uh, Brooke is an expectant mother. They tell me it's a little girl. Yes. She don't need a shower, she needs a sprinkle. <laughs> the baby's going to get all them hand me down. <laughs> Life ain't been fire, children. All you might say, preacher, everything's been rosy for you. Listen, life is not fire on this side. Right. Say nothing about it, fire. I can't sing a note. Look at them yeah, yeah. God's going to require more out of them than they do, man. There you go. But whatever you can do, God, everyone he's saved, he's called. That's right. And Brooke, uh, if I remember the end of June, here's something marvelous, and I'll, I'll close with this. That little baby is in uh, the chromosomes between you and Jake, Matt. What are 23 apiece or something, and they join together. Mm -hmm. That makes a living child. Yeah. Right. They call it the spark of life, and science has actually declared that there is a spark when the egg is fertilized. Yeah. Anything that's growing is alive. Yeah. Now, that little baby is comfortable, yeah. it's safe in Brooks' belly because. Yeah. 
Brook believes in eternal life and believes in life and believes in the sanctity of life. Yeah. But there's so many unborn children that are not safe today. And I won't go no farther than that yeah. today. We don't have time. Bless you. But that little baby girl is safe in, inside Brooks' bed. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah. It sleeps. Yeah. It floats around. It swims. Right. Sucks its thumb. Yeah. Jake come in with that big boisterous voice. He'll sleep. It'll jump in her belt, mama's bed. <laughs> But then the next month, something tragic is going to happen to that baby. Yeah. God's literally going to turn this little world upside down. Yeah. The little flower we eat, we've not seen her yet. Yeah. But when you are lost, the Bible said you're dead in sins and trespasses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're just floating along. Yeah. Yeah. No conscience. God comes and Whispers to you, it's time for you to be born again. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! You talk about a warfire. Yeah. Yeah. That's contrary to the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. If you are trying to serve God in the flesh, yeah. Yeah. you might as well say sue Because yeah. yeah. your flesh is not subject to God. That's right. Brooke can't hide her pregnancy. But in the fullness of time, yeah, yeah. God's going to begin to send them little notices to Brooke yeah. all the back. Yeah. And she's going to get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Instead of going, Brooke's going to follow her belly. Yeah. <laughs> when Zion travails yeah. sons and daughters, yeah. Yeah. it took love to make that baby. Come on. <laughs> it takes groanings under the leadership of the Holy Ghost yeah. to deliver a baby. Yeah. Yeah. And God's going to turn that little baby upside down and turn his head down. That little fellow is going to have to come to the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. And that fluid that is loved and that security and it's doing nothing. Come on. God's going to say to it, honey, it's time for you to move. Yeah. And she's going to grab a hold of everything she can in there because God's going to break the water down. Yeah. And she's going to have to start down the birth canal. Yeah. Pain. When... When Bethlehem, and thank you for being good, yeah. when Bethlehem yeah. begins to grow yeah. and begin to have birth and pain, yeah. and we begin to crawl around and yeah. our hearts head. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Three. times we deny it. My wife, she said, I can't wait to have this baby. Then when it comes, she denied it. She said, no, I just my back of her. <laughs> I was so nasty when they come and got me. I was cutting right away. And it was raining that day, and I had salt gas and oil and yeah. salt of nasty. Yeah. That nurse said, Don't get in your hurt. <laughs> yeah. And Dr. Bacon, he one of them new flipper things, and all he, 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 all he gave her a little bit of gas. Oh. Put it on her hand, you know, that little nausea you breathe in. And she breathed that thing, and I'm playing hit, she grabbed me right there. I got no hair on my head, we got a lot on my chest. <laughs> And she'd have a pain, and she'd grab my shirt and twist that. Oh, 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 oh. I made her both would get down. Yeah. While she wasn't breathing that gas, I was breathing. <laughs> I wanted some relief, too. I wanted that little, I was excited about yeah. my first born. Yeah, yeah. And that little baby's born, it's going to come out, and that little chin's going to quiver. Yeah. It's going to be blue. Yeah. And it takes a process, though. Yeah. When he's coming down yeah. the birth canal, it's very important that he has a slow birth. Yeah. Uh, Kristen, my middle one, was born so fast I had to put it in the incubator. I said, what's going on, Doc? He said she was born so fast that she didn't have enough contractions to squeeze the fluid out of her lungs. I said, we did it. Yeah. When you're under conviction, yeah. Come on. Yeah. God's a squeeze. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing you guilty, right, making you uncomfortable, right. mashing you. Yeah. Yeah. That little baby's going to come out and it's going to cry. We don't know what's saying. I want to tell you, brother, what it's going to say. I want to tell you in that unknown language. <laughs> I believe according to the script, it's a saying, put me back in this world. I don't want out here. Put me back in there. I'm used to it. Yeah. Children, the church of the living God is accustomed to living in sin. Yeah. We don't want a new birth. Preach it, brother. Then in the fullness of time, yeah. 
God's going to grow and bless you. Little things going to run play. He's going to get accustomed to this world. Yeah. It's going to learn to talk. Mm -hmm. It's going to get on Facebook and iPad. And he's going to get addicted to that. If you don't do it real careful. <laughs> yeah. Run them out in the yard and make them play. Yeah. They used to threaten to whoop us to get us to come in. Now we have to threaten to whoop them to get them to go out. <laughs> My grandson's got to, he's out of line. His toe ends out. A little fellow walks like this. And I was on my daughter all the time. She's denying. I said, that boy's feet needs some special therapy. Oh, he'll grow out of it. The husband said he's just like his dad. And I said, yeah, look at you. you you're going in two directions at the same time. I said, you're out of line with too. And I quarreled at my daughter. <laughs> oh, I've lied. I've already preached the Lord. Listen, right here this morning. And I said, Jocelyn, I call her Josh. I said, Josh. His name's Coat. I said, "Well, that little feller's bones are tender. We can straighten them feet. Yeah, yeah. But if you wait till he's grown, that's permanence. That's right. yeah. Why he's tender? Yeah. Let's turn his feet. Come on, preach. Bought a horse. Uh, uh, his foot, one foot was turned out. I said, Lord, that's that. I said, I can straighten it. Yeah. It took me two years, but I brought it back around. Every time I'd shoe it, I'd turn that shoe by the eighth of an inch, and I straightened the bone. But anyhow, I took this little coat and to get his things. They put his shoes adjusted. And, and a little fellow like me is overweight. He's an expert on computers. He can tell you every race car driver they are in the world. <laughs> I said, Doc, exercise really been good for him. Wouldn't you? I was wanting the doctor. Oh, they said the best thing for him. If you want to grow in grace and knowledge, exercise your soul. Yeah, right. Right. Whatever you feed the most will be the stats. You feed the flesh and the spirit. That's right. And we was talking, and he said, I said, he needs to get off that iPad, don't he, Doc? Yes, sir, he said. He, he said, believe it or not, preacher, he said, I've already started making braces for young children because they have played the games so much that they have deformed their hands. Come on. That little fella grow up. Yeah. He'd run, play. Lord Jake, they'd probably like horses. That's going to be expensive. <laughs> but somewhere along the line, God's going to wake it up again. Yeah. Yeah. See, he don't know it's lost yeah. until it reaches the age of how many. God's going to wake it up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's time to, we got to have another birth here. Yeah. 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 She's going to say, I don't want another birth. Yeah. Hey, I don't want another. I, it's not for me. I'm fine for a man. Yeah. And God's going to say, I know what's best. Yes. Yeah. I, I built you. There's a void in your life that you'll never be the complete person that you need to be until I get on your throne. Because yeah. I love you. And I'll fix it. Let me tell you something. The Lord says we're sheep of his pasture. Yeah. That's that. I had a great revelation last night in the bed, Frank. Okay. Great revelation. Boy, we tough us mountain players. Bless God, bring it on. You know, we're fighting them. Them ball players, daddy's pushing them boys. Watch him. Hit that oak tree. I'm running in that oak tree. They're come bam. Boy, he's tough. Yeah. No, that kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to hurt that oak tree. <laughs> But I, God gave me a thought last night, and I've studied sheep, had sheep, love sheep, and don't like sheep much, but I love God's sheep. <laughs> but you know the only fence a sheep's got? It's the shepherd. That's all he got. He, he tries to run. He doesn't really run. He's overloaded with his wool. And don't you get mad at me, he's dumb and raw. The only defense the sheep's got, she said, run to the shepherd. Yeah, He's able to protect you. You're not safe unless you're yeah. up against it. That's it. Numbers make you safe. That's right. You get along, the wolf will come and get you. Yeah. But that little baby brook, it's going to reach that age of town bed. God's going to turn his world upside down again. Start squeezing that heart. And it's yeah. going to start kicking and crying again. Yeah. Yeah. God said, turn loose. I know what's best. So I didn't turn loose. God in His infinite love and mercy will continue to bring that yeah. labor for you yeah. that child. Yeah. And I, I'm praying that your baby will get so uncomfortable. Yeah. I pray that your baby will get so miserable 
and then it gets that it wakes up and realizes, hey, I'm dead. Yes. I'm going to hell. Yes. I'm without hope of yes. my God. And God, yes. he'll run and fall on the grace of God. Yes. And God, yes. be merciful to me, a sinner. Yes. They need to be saved. Yes. Right. That's it. Yes. Yes. I done a funeral yesterday. The guy was a crop duster. And <clears throat> he took me riding in a helicopter. I may have told you last night act like I did. <laughs> and he he flew under the bridge on 129. He crazy. What's wrong with him? Crazy. But he's a wonderful friend. And we was riding that helicopter and I was just making conversation and I was, I wouldn't have asked him if I'd follow that. I said uh, we was talking about this man that Christ over on St. Peter we'd eat lunch up. And I said that uh, when the engine quits on the helicopter, if it don't lock the blaze there. Can't you wind it down? Yeah. Yeah, he said. And he took me out over San Pedro Lake in a little island down there. He got me way up there and he said, you do it just like that. And he just shut her down. Huh. <laughs> I just want the question. I never want to show. <laughs> and he said this. He said the reason most people crash the helicopter when the engine failed, he said they wait too long and it kills you. He said, if you'll set it down quick enough, you'll be all right. Uh -huh. okay. Today is the day of salvation. That's right. For tomorrow may not come. That's right. I forget what preacher it was. I heard it on Raleigh, Zechariah. He said the Holy Spirit is like a bird singing. Sitting on a limb, singing. I listen to them. I, every time I'm out, I listen to them. They just sing their little hearts out. Same song that sung them since I was a little baby. They just sing their hearts out. And he said, you run that bird off of me. He said, he'll leave. He said, he'll go somewhere else. Find another tree. He said, on that limb, and he'll sing. God's Holy Spirit's going to continue to work. He just might not be working in your mm. Mm. You're not saved. The Holy Spirit's not guiding you and trimming you and grooming you every day. Man, Brooke, if God tires us coming, we don't go in the rapture. God's going to come back to your little girl again. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be dead and gone or you're just going to all go together. I don't know. But if she lives to be old, God knowed her and numbered her parts into her little belly. And he'd give her the first birth, he'd give her the second birth. And then God's going to come back to you. But well, look to some of us, it ain't going to be long. <laughs> We's over in Walmart, Murphy. We have to drive 45 miles to go to Walmart. I'm sorry, you speak about the little time. Just some of them. But uh, my wife, uh, she said, Go get us some bananas. We had a lot of bananas at the house. And I went over and I come back. She said, where's the bananas? I said, I didn't get them. She said, why? I said, they're green. Well, she said, they're ripe. And I said, not, my, not at my age. <laughs> I ain't buying no green bananas. <laughs> you guys get wood for next year. I'm not getting a whole bunch of wood. If I die, let him get his own wood. I ain't Ain't that right? Say man right there. Amen. <laughs> there's gonna be a time come, it's appointed that a man must die. Said, there's gonna be a time come to come to your little daughter again. You're gonna say, This is God. She's gonna say, Get away from me. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I can't go. I've got grandbabies to raise. Jake is dumber than rock. I've got to take care of him. <laughs> He'll blow all of her money on pickup trucks. Can I get a man return? Amen. <laughs> Jack, I'm your buddy. <laughs> Woo! Feeling good. You feeling good? Yeah. Bless you. Why are you feeling good? Down here at Mount, a bunch of strangers. Well, you're my brother and sister. That's right. Yeah. Hey, man. Thank you for cooking. Yeah. They don't appreciate it, but God will reward you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they will today, but. This day or two, they won't appreciate it. 
Boy, I'll give them a lot to the church. Boy, that, was a, that, that preacher missed the mark a thousand miles. Oh, I've served this church. Well, you're serving your own yeah. king. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You preach for God. Amen. You, what you do, you do for God. Yeah, that's right. I promise you, man, will let you down. That's right. I think he's one of the greatest men I've ever met. There's something wrong with you. I don't know where it's at, but I guarantee you, you've got a weakness. Yeah. Oh, now, I ain't going to meddle a lot. <laughs> but I promise I'm quitting after a while. And then God's going to come to that little girl again. Yeah. She may be old. She may be, I don't know. But God's going to speak to her again. I've come to get you. Yeah. Time for you to move again. Yeah. I ain't moving. Yeah, you are. Yeah. And God's going to touch her little life. God's already come to your house. Your mother's a young lady serving God. She didn't want to leave him. She went through a, a transformation. She got ready through cancer. Through that birth canal of cancer. Your mama, my mom, passed. My dad, my brother. But what's so wonderful about it? But God said, trust me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've took care of you this far. Yeah. The best is yet to come. Amen. Amen. That's the reason I give you birth. That's the yeah. reason my son died for you. Yeah. I want you, I want to be your king. Yeah. And I want you to be my son. Yeah. And join ours with me. Yeah. Before I live, you can live. Before I go, you can go. Yeah. And we all want to see Jesus. Yeah. What? One of my favorite thoughts about Jesus, Casey, when we leave the portals of glory with God, and he comes back to Mount Olives, and walks down off of Mount Olives, after we ride that big white horse, <laughs> and he's walking down Mount Olives. Frank, when he goes by the garden of Gethsemane, do you think he'll look over there? He may look over there and say, I remember you, yeah. but never again. Amen. He's going to cross that Kedron Valley, and I'm going to be behind. I'm going to see the back of my king's head. That's right. I'm going to be safe because yeah. I'm a fallen my master. He'll say, son, this ain't your battle. Yeah. Why are we even going to be there? We're going to be the cheerleading, thank right. God. That's my Jesus, right. whom I love. Amen. Yeah. Are you safe this morning? Yes. That's the message. Young people, you motor to quit any time. Yes. Don't wait too long to sit down. Yeah. You may ask, you will sit down in the wilderness. Yes. But God, that's where God found his son yes. in the right. waste house yes. yes. Dying for us. Yes. Right. Bloody, repulsive, contrary to the flesh. Yes. It's a numbing way. It's a suffering way. You can't have the best of both worlds. No. You can't have it. God don't lie. No. You have to choose one way or the other. He's going to say, you come and finish. Let's stand together. I'm sorry.